Real quick, I have a link in my Twitter header now that has all of the links with their discounts and their sign-up bonuses. So some exchanges have better sign-up bonuses than others. Take advantage of them. If you can get free money, take advantage of it, right? There's also my book list that's in that link. There's a couple other things that I'll add in there from time to time. If you guys don't know already, I'm part of Synquote. Synquote is a decentralized options exchange. It is the best decentralized options exchange, by the way. You don't have to have a crypto wallet. You could sign up to this right through Gmail. It is the number one crypto options exchange by volume, by open interest, by liquidity. And it actually competes with Deribit in a lot of different ways. This is an RFQ setup. It's a request for quote. So what that means is it's not an automated market maker system, right? So you see these quotes right here, but we're going to go ahead and like, let's say you want to buy the 2,700 calls. You would actually request, you know, let's say I want to buy 20 ETH worth of 2,700. So you just request quote and you're going to get a quote right back. So right now listed at 2034 and a fresh quote is 29. So very simple stuff. Here's the thing. So far, Synquote has been to this point exclusively an options exchange. Within the next, I believe, week or so, we will be listing perps. So you will be able to trade perps and options on the same exchange. And all I can tell you is we have it set up so that on day one, there's gonna be a significant amount of liquidity. And I think we're gonna start with BTC and ETH, right? Because there are BTC and ETH options. And this is really useful because let's say you're trading your long uh, Bitcoin calls, you'll be able to actually scalp around those deltas with the perp product. And this can be, you know, there's a lot of different ways you can use this. It is just obviously to your advantage to have perps and options on the same exact exchange, right? So this is gonna be a really awesome feature. This is not the only development and these are not the only pairs that Synquote is going to be limited to, but this is a big step and hopefully this will bring a lot more attention to how useful and how good of an options platform this is. So again, perps coming hopefully in the next, I'd say next week or two. Ahmed and the team have been working really hard and, and putting in a ton of hours. So it'll be worth it because like I said, right from day one, there's going to be a significant amount of liquidity, which is really what matters because you go on some of these DEXs and one automated market making systems suck. This is way better. Not only that, like Synquote allows you to do the request for quote, but you could also use limit orders. So if I want to put on the advanced view, go to that 2700 strike ETH call, and we could actually just place a limit order. You could use this to take profit. You could use this to enter into positions. So it's really useful. There's no other decks that's like this. One thing I do want to go over real quick though. So this is something that maybe a lot of people are not familiar with. If you are on the simple portion of this and you click on each one, you're going to see that there are these values below, right? So delta, gamma, theta, vega, rho. But as far as the delta goes, to keep it simple, the delta measures the sensitivity of the options price. In this case, if the delta of that contract is 0.27, that means that for every dollar increase in the price of Ethereum, the price of the contract goes up by approximately 0.27. So you can see right there, it's 18.99 for one contract. If the price of Ethereum goes up by $1, the price of that contract will go up approximately by 27 cents. So pretty simple. The closer you are to in the money, the more your higher deltas are going to be more in the money right? Closer to one and your very low deltas are going to be way further out the money. So that is delta. The gamma, gamma is this one right here. So gamma is actually the, the rate of change of that delta to a $1 change in price. For a $1 change in price, how much does the delta change? So this is going to show you how stable or whether the gamma is high or low is going to show you how stable the options delta is. The next thing is theta, which is right here. Theta decay, you guys have probably heard of that. It's actually the measure of sensitivity to the options price to the passage of time. This is where you'll hear of the phrase time decay. So how much or what amount the options price is going to change is not going to go up as time passes, assuming everything else re remains constant. So this contract's $20.33. What this means is that for each day closer to the expiration, all things remain constant, which is not going to happen. This is a very high theta because this expiration is close. All things remain constant each day passing. The value of this option is going to drop by almost eight bucks. This is why buying short-term options is unless there's a major catalyst, it's always a bad idea right? Almost all of them are going to expire worthless. And this is a pretty good mathematical representation of that. You know, this right now contract is going down as we speak. The contract is 20 bucks. The theta is negative eight. We're talking every day this goes down by eight bucks. So this expires on the 16th. It's going to be worthless before then. Okay. And now we are on Vega, right? So Vega is the measure of sensitivity of the options price to changes in volatility. So this is changes in implied volatility. So 1% change in implied volatility and you get Vega of this is 69. So if the price of Ethereum increases by 1%, the price of the option is expected to increase by approximately 69. 
69 cents in this case. It's a 1% change in the implied volatility though. So this is not the change in price. Measure sensitivity to implied volatility. This would be important for you to understand how sensitive the option is to changes in sentiment, conditions, anything that's gonna affect the, the options volatility. And then row lastly, Rho is the rate at which price of derivative changes relative to the change in the risk-free rate of interest. Okay. This is not going to affect your positioning on SingQuote if you're trading short-term options. It's going to be no change to the risk-free rate in the short amount of time that's going to affect your options position. But this is always worth knowing. And if I fumbled anything, I apologize. This is not stuff that I really focus on. I obviously, I focus on more than anything else. I'd say I focus on Delta. This is going to be the most common one you'll hear referred to. Delta, you could actually take as an approximation of the percentage of approximation of this expiring in the money. Let's say, what is the probability of BTC being above 60,000 on March 29th? Tapping 60,000, there is about a one in five chance. Delta's 0.2. So this is about a 20% chance that BTC hits 60,000 by March 29th. And again, it's a rough approximation and should be easy to understand when you take into account that the closer to something being in the money, the higher the delta is, obviously. But this is the probably the most common one you'll hear referred to. And when it comes to hedging, this is something that you are gonna need to take into account. Theta is obviously very important. Buying short-term options, unless there's a very significant move or a catalyst, a lot of the times you are, you're giving money away. Now you could sell short-term options, right? You could write options, but there's always the risk, obviously, of them expiring in the money. And, you know, let's see, for example, if I wanted to sell a short-term option, this one expires in seven hours, probably not much of a market for this right now. I want to sell the 49, what's price out right now? So a bunch of this is going to change as well. The, the UI is going to change a little bit. So price of BTC is 49,500. If I wanted to sell the 50K strike calls, so I'm going to sell 10 of those and there's seven hours to expiry. You're not going to make a lot of money, right? But it's 300 bucks, right? And if you own BTC, it's basically covered calls. Now, the BTC is not on this platform, obviously, so it's a little bit different. But you could sell options all day that are closer to expiration, you know, things that are out of the money and make a decent amount of money that way. It's not going to be much, obviously, right? 31 bucks per contract. And how likely is it for BTC to move $500 within the next seven hours? I mean, that's not that unlikely. But yeah, very useful platform. It'll be great once the perps are available as well. But I did just want to go over some quick details with respect to the Greeks. You do have the easily set up strategies right here. So you have strangles, put spreads, call spreads. This is simplify something that you'd normally have to do on your own. I'm not going to go further into this. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I'll make a separate video for this platform so that you guys can have a better understanding of it. All right. Sorry, guys. I feel like this stream is a little bit uh, low quality. I'm uh, coming off of a sickness and I'm, I could actually feel me myself starting to lose my voice again, which is a pain in the ass. Um, all right, so appreciate you guys tuning in regardless of what form I'm in and uh, I'll see you next time. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all that good stuff. Peace.